Hey what's going on everyone this is our reviews back with another video and today we're taking a look at the back tap feature of iOS 14. Now since the release of iOS 14 everybody has been going crazy about the back tap feature. Probably most of us have used it to take a screenshot on our device, but there is a lot more to it. You can perform some really cool actions and very useful actions using the back tap feature. Now, when you go to your settings, you go to accessibility and you go to back tap, right here you will find double tap and triple tap. You go to one of them and you will find the default settings here. We'll find the default actions that you can perform using a double tap or a triple tap at the back of your iPhone. You have things like the system ones, you have app switcher, control center, things like a screenshot reachability or notification center, or you have the accessibility settings where you can enable assistive touch magnifier or maybe voice control, but there is a lot more to it. You can perform some really cool actions with back tap, double tap or triple tap. So in this video, I will show you guys how to do them and of course how to create these actions and i will show you guys some pretty cool and some pretty useful actions that you can perform using double tap or triple tap on the back of your ios 14 device now first up we're taking a look at some actions that i will show you guys that you can do with double tapping or triple tapping at the back of your phone so just notice here the brightness slider. So let's say you're reading something or you're watching a video, you wanna turn up the brightness. You don't have to go out of there. You can do that from here. You can see I can double tap there and it will turn up the brightness 10%. Double tap again and it will do that again. Turn up another 10%, which is really awesome. Let's move on to the next action. Let's say you wanna turn on or off the flashlight. You can do that using double tap double tap to turn on and double tap to turn off the flashlight of your device. You don't have to reach for any buttons. You don't have to go to the control center. You can simply do that using back tap on the device. Back tap to turn on the flashlight, back tap to turn it off again. Maybe you wanna quickly enable dark mode or light mode on your device. You can do that with back tap. Back tap to turn on dark mode, back tap again to turn off dark mode or maybe you're browsing the internet or on the social media or something and you need to quickly take a picture with your device. Double tap there and you can see right now it will take you directly to the camera where you can take a picture, tap on use photo, it will automatically be sent to the photo gallery and that way you can quickly take a picture with it using double tap or triple tap on the back of your iOS 14 device. Or maybe even turn on low power mode. Again, double tap or triple tap and you can turn on or off low power mode on your device. So these are some of the cool things that you can do with back tap on iOS 14, but how to do them? Through the shortcuts app, go ahead and go to the shortcuts app and here you will be able to create any actions you want and then perform them using the back tap feature. So when you go to back tap, you will have here system, you have accessibility, scroll gestures, and then you have shortcuts. From here, you will be able to invoke any of these shortcuts using back tap. Now, with iOS 14.3, it is great because you won't have any redirections, so that's really, really amazing. So here I have a few. I have one to quickly take a picture, lights up to turn up the brightness, light and dark to change the appearance, and auto wall to set an automatic wall. So basically, if I just go ahead here, tap on auto wall, I can go to the home screen, or anywhere I'm at, just double tap on the back and it will change my wallpaper. As easy as that, anytime I double tap there, it will change to a new wallpaper and that's really awesome. Now, how to create these? If you wanna create, let's say, an action to turn on or off the Bluetooth of your device. As you probably know, with iOS 13 and iOS 14, you won't be able to actually turn off completely Bluetooth or Wi-Fi from the control center. You will need to go to settings. Now, what you do here, go to shortcuts, just tap the plus button, add action, and let's just search for Bluetooth here. Set Bluetooth. Now, what you need to do if you leave it like this, it will just turn it on. If it's off, it will turn it on and it won't turn it off. Just go to turn right there, tap on turn and choose toggle. Now this will use both like turn on and off with the same shortcut. Tap on next, let's just type Bluetooth here, tap the dumb button and now we have the shortcut there created. When we go here under double tap on back tap, you will see we have now the shortcut. We can select that and you can see now I can double tap there 
in order to turn off the Bluetooth. I can double tap again and that same shortcut will also turn it on. So as easy as that, you can perform an action using back tap. So you can create any action you want with the shortcuts app. So as I said, any of the different actions that you can perform with the shortcuts app, those can also be performed with the back tap, double tap or triple tap on the back of your iPhone. And it is really great as you can basically just go ahead and explore the shortcuts app and create different actions to quickly create them. Now I have a few here that I just showed you guys. I will list them right down below in the pinned comment. So if you want to try them out on your device, you can go ahead and download them from there. So that's basically it, guys. This is how you can use back tap feature on iOS 14 to perform crazy actions and some of them actually very very useful as well so i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you learned something new about your device and its capabilities so go ahead leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one